Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how we can add our vCenter server with our view administration without using composer so if you don't have a composer in your environment you can follow these steps in order to add just the vcenter server so that you can uh, provision the virtual machines the vdis for the user let's start with the demo here so this is a 7.8 connection server if you'll go to servers you'll see i don't have added any vcenter server so let's just click add here and uh, give the address of the vcenter server the username uh, which uh, you will be using to add this vCenter to the view administration console for the authentication you can specify the password uh, currently it's using 443 which is a default port so if you want to change it you can do that as well all these settings are uh, pre-configured but uh, in case if this is different for your environment you can make these changes and hit next so let's just uh, hit next here this will take some time in order to uh, initiate the authentication with the vCenter server so let's give it a moment so you can view the certificate and accept it Yeah, you don't need to use a composer so select the first option as it is already selected hit next um, just make sure all these both the settings are enabled it will take a moment to populate this information so once it's done you can just click finish so this will take a moment to enable these uh, options so currently the storage accelerator is selected as no the reason why i don't want to use it in my environment but if it is a requirement for you you can just enable that as well and uh, the space reclamation is enabled in me so that in my setup so that in case if i need to use the space reclamation and uh, we you can use this feature to contact the vcenter server so now it is being added you can see the value is here the vcsa is configured correctly so uh, these are the, uh, the this is the only step that you need to follow if you want to add a vcenter server so it looks good from here thank you for watching this video